a really powerful question to ask yourself right now is, where am I in relation to my purpose? Or another question you can ask is, what is worth living, living for? What is worth living for and how am I nourishing that? This is the full moon in Scorpio and I'm a Scorpio and a lot of Scorpio in my chart. And I've been wanting to make a video about purpose for months now and today feels like the day and just wanted to share a little bit more as well because it's been a little while since I've made a longer form piece of content and I'm for me what nourishes my purpose is creating content sharing what's on my heart intuitive themes and this jump point and evolution that we are all facing right now this great paradigm shift uh, from an old world to a new world. My previous community that I was building was called 5D TV Network, and I have been nurturing a new network, Flow Network. Although if you've been following my new WeShip channel, I've been taking a year off and journeyed across Canada in an RV, which is a dream of mine, and actually have updates about what's happening this year with that, but I'll save that for another video. Um, purpose, the, the word purpose has been something that I've contemplated for all of my life, really. And the meaning of that word has shifted over time. And I'd love to hear from you what the meaning of the word purpose means to you. I think more people are feeling the need to step into their purpose, to become visible with their purpose, to share their purpose, to find their purpose. Uh, having a sense of purpose in life it really enriches our whole life, right? Doesn't it? You know, so I love this conversation and I wanted to share just a little bit about a little bit about my background and who I am for anybody who's new in the space because I do have new people in the space. I, I grew a community and network. I'm very community oriented since I can remember. When I was 19, I was a volunteer at the YMCA and instructed spinning classes like four times a week. So I was very involved in the community of health and then yoga and doing nutrition and workshops and all that kind of stuff in person. And then I started educating people on the power of video for their business. This was years ago before COVID, and now that's hilarious. Everybody and everybody is using video in their business. And I've been going through this evolution of how I want to express my purpose in the world, which is ultimately the root of that is being yourself and expressing yourself. And that looked uh, in the beginning, in the earlier days, in, in the realm of nutrition and the physical body. And then it took an aspect into the spiritual world and then I look to bridge those worlds, and that's really where I am at today. And I really came across a, a, a really profound system, couple systems in the last few years, which were human design and gene keys. And if you've been following me, I was I've been sharing the transits, the gene keys we move through every six days or so, a new theme. And I love aligning these themes in my life or just being uh, aware of them and observing how they play out in my life and I love sharing those with others. So I'm going to be continually doing that and at the same time I'm coming out from being a hermit the last couple of years after growing a community and and sort of doing things as in the human design way would, would say the not self way. I burnt myself out and I've had to take a number of years to really limit my community it became very small and just in person and and i've regenerated enough and and, and given give received a, a lot um of just nurturing and nourishment over the last several years and i'm ready to come back out into the community again so if you are interested in working with me you can stay tuned for the ways that the new ways that i will be engaging and that will include opening up a couple of spots for anybody who's interested in diving into their their purpose through the lens of gene keys and a little bit of uh, human design as well and all the other modalities that I've practiced over the years as well. 
and uh, so I'm really excited to be offering that. I haven't had an offering for a little while now since I've taken a year off for myself to really enjoy my hermit and, and it's been relatively new for me to learn 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 that about myself through human design and if it wasn't for human design I don't know where I would be today it really did change the whole trajectory of my life in the most amazing way and now I feel really compelled to share that wisdom along with the gene keys as well for anybody who's looking for a deeper alignment with their soul so learning that I was a hermit and then kind of always knowing I had that aspect of me but felt a little bit uh like there was something wrong with me for how much time I like to spend on my own and able to have that permission to just take that time. And I think that more and more people are realizing the power of pausing and moving slow and still, whether or not they have aspects of being a hermit or not. Um, these are really fast moving, changing times that we are in right now. And I, I shared a post recently about the transformation economy and I have a free video as well on my link if you want to dive deeper into that idea. But in this time, knowing ourselves and loving ourselves and coming aligned to our soul, this is really ultimately what flow is all about. It's about letting go of the old ways, the old beliefs, the old habits that we had in order to survive in a world that really wasn't designed for our unique, outrageous selves to live in, our, our creative selves, to thrive in, to a world where we can truly thrive by being ourselves. And that really is what Flow Network is all about. Uh, we have new content coming out for that as well in the coming months, which I'm really excited about. And it's springtime. It's time, at least for me, I'm feeling the time to flourish here in the Northern Hemisphere, and I'm really excited to connect. Community is the other aspect of my design. It's that interesting mix of being a hermit and being very introspective and liking my alone time and also needing that balance of connection and community and that's really been in my heart for as long as I I've known myself so that's my message again the questions for this Scorpio full moon are where am I in relation to my purpose to your purpose where are you in relationship to your purpose? What is worth living for? What is worth putting in that little bit of discomfort or, or taking that little bit of risk? Or uh, what is worth fighting for to live for, basically? And how are you nourish, nourishing yourself? I look forward to connecting with you more in these videos and if you feel interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one, you can always send me a dm or an email you can check out my website which will be updating it's uh the new service offerings that are coming but if you have any questions if you want to share in the comments i love hearing from you and that's it for now